to receive your comfort because God only you can be able to reach the recesses of our mind where we are relieving memories and not knowing exactly what to do. I give you praise, I give you glory. I commit the whole of this service and the journey to Langata and the service of the cemetery to your able to your able hand, O oh God, praying that you will guide us every step of the way. I pray this believing and trusting in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Sana sana dikon wetu na wapendwa Frank pamoja na jamii kwa jumla show show chungaji chungaji Jacob and all friends who are here today we begin a very difficult journey this morning it's a journey of escorting our sister and our friend in what we might call the final escort really and it is difficult tungependa kuomba kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu atujazie neema na nguvu na tuweze kupata uwezo wa kusimama. May God give us the grace. May he also give us peace and strength for the day. Uh, Pastor Fred and uh, Pastor Dan, Pastor Marvin, Pastor Avijana, so I'll be requesting him to offer a prayer uh, at this place before we leave. And uh, we are here to stand with us. And we are here to trust God to give us the strength that we need for this day. And we know that God will keep us well. Tutasoma neno fupi. Baadi ya kusoma neno fupi. Tutaweza kupata matangazo. Baadi ya matangazo, tutakuwa na maombi ya kujikabidhi mikono ni mwa Mwenyezi Mungu siku ya leo tukiletewa na pasta Mawe baada ya maombi tutauliza wenzetu Paul Bearers wale wanatusaidia kubeba dada yetu msichana wetu watatusaidia kupeleka pale kwa gazimu pale chini na huko chini vile tumeongozwa pamoja na, na dada Doreen in terms of instruction Ni kwamba those who would like to view will make their way down there to view and of course as we view we'll view them as we go into the vehicles and uh, so 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 those who like to go down are the ones will go down it is a good thing if we can manage to view it is it brings a sense of just uh, that experience of saying bye bye uh, sometimes when we restrain ourselves, we begin wondering how did our sister look like, how did the Totuetu look like. So sometimes it's also soothing and it helps, if we can. But if those who can't here, we do not want to make it mandatory that you must go there. But uh, if God can help you, it would, it would help. It would, it would really help. So that's how we will we'll do it. I will meet a summer day of Baada neno fupi, tutapata matangazo na mutea, mutea should be, should be around and uh, he should know the shortest route to, to Langata because mutea will tell us the shortest route to Langata that will take us well and how we will move and uh, while we immediately we get to Langata, mutea will also tell us how, do we, what, how are we placed in Langata so that the moment we go in, we are not struggling to find our people. We hope that somebody can even be placed maybe at the gate, maybe to let us know, so that we are not wondering where are we and who is where. So Mutea will give us those good instructions and directions with you. Kuna Zaburi kwa ufupi ambayo dadaetu Esther, Mama, Michelle, Alisoma, Jumapili, ambayo ni zaburi sitini na moja. Pali ambapo neno linasema, He mungu, ukisikie kilio changu, uyasikilize maombi yangu. Toka mwisho wa nchi, nitakulilia, nikizimia. 
mwamba nikizimia moyo uniongoze juu ya mwamba nisiyoweza kupanda kwa maana ulikuwa kimbilio langu ngome yenye nguvu adui asinipate nitakaa katika hema yako milele nitakimbilia sitara ya mbawa zako maana wewe Mungu umezisikia ume nadhiri zangu umewapa urithi wao waliokopao jina lako ni zaburi ambayo mwandishi anazungumza juu ya kilio chake kama vile tunalia leo kuna uchungu muoni mwake kuna ugumu muoni mwake vile tulio sasa na katika hali ya huo ugumu anaomba kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu akaweza kusikiliza maombi yake katika wakati huu ambapo tuko na ugumu tuko na uchungu kwa mwili na kwa roho sana we are pained we are hurt we are we are we are, we are in a sense stranded as to what to do it's a difficult time for us it's a time that we are asking for God's intervention we are asking that the Lord may hear our prayers and may hear our cry and that's what we are doing today ili Mwenyezi Mungu asikilie asikize kilio chetu na manake anasema toka mwasho mwisho wa nchi atamlilia Mwenyezi Mungu amuongoze juu ya mwamba asiyoweza kupanda may the lord indeed be our rock and our hearts are overwhelmed where our hearts are overwhelmed today may we find him as a sure rock may we find him as a place of rest and a place of refuge may we find him as a friend upon whom we can lean may we find him as a place that is a fortress and that is what the psalmist is saying that when his heart is overwhelmed then he said that the lord may lift him up to a higher ground may he do so today sababu he said kwa maana umekuwa kimilio langu ngome yenye nguvu adui asinipate he is our ngome shosho mada ni ni ngome mada ni ni ile mwamba tunaweza kushikilia hata leo sahele everything is sinking tunashangaa tutasimama namna gani Mwadani wetu bado ni ngome imara uh, brother Frank he is our rock he is our strength that we can lean on and then he said that for that reason ataka katika hema yake milele akikimbilia sitara ya mbawa zake he will stay again uh, let me see what the english says there uh, for you been at my shelter uh, a strong tower from the enemy Therefore I will abide in your tabernacle forever and trust in the shelter of your wings. We can trust in the shelter of his wings. We can hide ourselves under the shelter, a strong tower, and abide in his tabernacle. May we find the Lord as a true place of rest even now. Because that really is where our hope is and that is where we can get our peace. When everything else sinks and when everything else does not make sense because things like this don't make sense when everything else is given given way may we find him as a sure shelter a tabernacle where we can hide so may the lord again just enrich our souls this time uh show show uh the damasi na kona pale karo na kupate dori na wengine wote na brothers baby david tungaji jeko zote naomba kwamba Mungu atusaidie tupate nguvu tukimkimbilia tukimnilia tukiomba kwamba tuweze kuona wema wa maisha yetu wetu kwa hivyo nafikiri kabla atujadilia sana let's go straight away pastor Marvin and just fill it with a prayer uh, pastor D you can just sing a line uh, as to welcome pastor Marvin just to for prayer uh, uh, one line kwa ke yesu na simama die mamba ni salama die mamba ni salama die mamba ni salama kwa ke yesu na simama
Jesus' morning rock family. The writer of this hymn says, And to the grave, what shall we sing? Christ he lives, Christ he lives. And what reward will heaven bring? Everlasting life with him. Then he says, There we will rise to meet the Lord. Then sin and death will be destroyed. And we will feast in endless joy when Christ is ours, when Christ is meets, when Christ is ours we believe forevermore. We will be there. One day death must die. And that's the encouragement that I want us to have as we pray. That even unto the grave, our song is evermore. Christ is alive. Praise the name of God. So Christ lives, and because Christ lives, then today with all the weight of sorrow that is in our hearts, we can hope that he is the reason why we will gather again, even with our beloved sister. Lord, our hearts are weighed down in many ways. Our minds are boggled, Lord. I'm sure there are many things you've asked, Lord Jesus, and in the humanity that we are, we desire answers, yet God, in the sovereignty of your name, you have given us your Holy Spirit as a comforter. You have given us your word as a reminder that this is not the end of the road, Lord. Rather, it's an open door to life unknown, life full of joy. Your word reminds us that you have shown us the path of life in your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures evermore. Right there, Michelle is with you, Lord. And right there, my Father, comes our hope that one day, there also, if we trust in you, shall we be as well. And so we commit this family to you, Lord. Thank you for Frank and the children, Lord, and the mom of this beautiful girl, and the cousins, and the aunties, and the friends, and relatives. All of them gathered here today, Lord, I know your eye sees us, Lord. Your heart understands the loss. And you have come to say, I am here with you. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. And so, God, we commit ourselves to you. That as we begin this journey this morning, oh God, wouldn't you hold these hearts of ours that otherwise is quite frail right now? Wouldn't you hold us fast? Wouldn't you give us the assurance, Lord, that it is well, Lord, even though the pain is there, that you are there, oh God, and you will minister to us. Thank you, Lord God, for the ministry you've done since last week. Thank you for the encouraging words that, Father Lord, you've spoken through your servants, Lord. Thank you for the prayers that have been lifted for this home. And we pray much more now than ever that, Lord, the family will realize that you are here at present help, even in their time of need. So speak those words that only you can speak. Comfort in a way only you can comfort, Lord. I pray that Christ, no heart here, O Lord, in view of the faith that were reminded during the memorial service by Mitch's mom, the faith that she had, the passion for you that she had, I pray that that same faith will hold our hearts fast. We will be reminded because he lives, then we can face tomorrow. And all of us will be able to face tomorrow, Lord, as we wait for you. So be with us, Lord, encourage us through as we leave this place, as we go to lay our sister to our resting place until the day you will wake her up from her sleep. And you will. And that day we will rise to meet the Lord. And death and sin will be destroyed. And together, O oh God, we shall dwell in eternal joy. We long for that day then, Lord. Come, Lord, quick. Come, Lord, quick. And give comfort to this heart of ours. So we commend ourselves to you. Won't you encourage? Won't you uphold? Won't you remind us? Won't you affirm us that even now you are here to hold and to minister your grace? We pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Thanks so much, Pastor. Um, we will uh, request that uh, Brother Motia will come and make announcement. We might not have very many announcements to make. So Navkiri Asmutia is making announcement. If there's a way that the poll bearers can exit out there, it, it is already said. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. That really helps. That, that really helps. That, yeah, that really helps. So, so in that case, we'll have Motia. Uh, Mr. Mutea, is he around? Where is Mutea? Mutea was making the announcements. So. Wanna go say, Muyangu, Ram. 
seeing here is the tent that carried her soul. We feel the pain, we feel the loss, but we ask now that you may encourage our souls and we pray that you may help us to remember that Michelle is with the Lord Jesus Christ and that it is well with her. We pray that it would also be well with all of us. Bless us now as we close this casket for the very last time next time we meet, we'll meet in the very presence of God the Father. Grant us grace now, even for the journey, and help us to bear the pain of this day and even the days to come. You are the God of all peace. Grant peace by the Frank and the family and friends and all of us, and help us to be strong. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
ya the coffin na mwili wa our daughter to this side so those who are the pole bearers unaweza tusaidia kutoa mwili tukiuleta upande huu mahali ambapo tumetengewa hii hema alafu tutaendelea Bwana ni mchungaji wangu sitakumbukiwa kitu kulaza kwenye majani mavichi kunyongoza kwa maji matulivu Huni huisha nafsi yangu Kuniongoza kwa njia za haki Nipita pobonde ni mwama uti Sita ogo pa wewe unami Hakika we mana zo fadili zitani fuata mimi nitaka nyumbani mwa bwana siku zote za maisha yangu imba hakika hakika we mana zo Zitani kuata mimi Nitaka nyumbani mwa bwana Siku zote za maisha yangu Gongo lako na vimbo yako Vinani fariji mimi Wanda meza mbele ya angu Machoni pa watesi wangu Atika we mana zofadhili Zitani Nitaka nyumbani kwa Bwana siku zote za maisha yangu imba hakika hakika we mana zofadhili zitani fuata mimi nitaka Bani mwa Bwana siku zote za maisha yangu Almighty God we come before you this morning we do want to appreciate your goodness and mercies which are new every morning we do want to appreciate that you are the solid rock where the righteous run to and they are safe we do want to appreciate that you are God of all comfort. As we look at the family here, the relatives and the friends who have come, we can appreciate, oh God, that you have continued to hold them with your righteous right hand. And Lord, we do want to pray that as we get into the service of this morning, that you will lead us, that you will guide us, that you will protect us, God that you will minister to every person, family, relatives, and friends who have come where they are at, O oh God. You are God of all comfort. You are the Prince of Peace. You are sovereign. You are a miracle worker. Do your wonders as you minister to the family members where they are at, ministering to each one of them with the same level of peace, of comfort, of strength that they need 
for this day and the rest of the days of their lives. So we want to thank you for those who have come to, to stand with this family. As we begin our service, we pray that God go forth before us and grant us the victory that is ours in your mighty name and to the glory and honor of your name. This we pray in the mighty name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Tungependa kuchukua na fasi hii kwa karibisha nyinyi wote ambao mmekuja katika hii sherehe ya kumpumzisha Michelle Kirote Mugendi. Tunashukuru ya kwamba wengine wenu kama familia hata jamii na marafiki tumewaona tumekuwa nanyi kuanzia siku ambayo haya yalitendeka na hata leo tumeona mumeseta side wakati wenu kuja kusimama na hii familia kama kanisa la Ridgeways Baptist Church kiongozwa na mchungaji Fred Auma ambaye yuko hapa mchungaji Marvin Pastor Marvin Esonga ambaye tuko naye uh, tungependa kusema karibuni sana katika hii ibada ya Michelle Mungu awabariki sana and so karibuni sana may the Lord bless us we pray that we'll have a beautiful send off even as we continue to commit this family to God in prayer, may the Lord bless you again. I do now want to welcome uh, the family of Sim Tungaji, Aweze Kuja Pia, to let a word of welcome on behalf of the family to us all who have come to stand with this family. Thank you very much. On behalf of our family, it is to say, first of all, thank you. Kwa kila moja, ambaya mesima manasi, kangu suku hile, ambaya bali hini patikana. Kwa tunasema, asante sana kwa kila moja. So, nichukue na fasi kukarbisha kila moja katika sherehi ya kuweza kumbundisha awa nyota. Nisebe karibu nyote. Geografi ya maali hapa, hapa yuma tukona maali, tutaneza kusimama. Na tunapoendelea kwa tunawaletea matakazo zaidi wa chugaji wote ambao wako hapa karibu thank you uh, Ridgeways and thank you and I also understand my spiritual father is here Leverend Moses is here Amen thank you so much dad for coming Asante sana thank you Allow me to request us to stand again we want just to worship the Lord in some praises even as we continue with this service. In your programs, there is a song, It Is Well. We're going to sing that song. We'll sing a few songs, and then we'll proceed from there. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea be lost wrong. Whatever my Lord Thou hast taught me to say It is well, it is well With my soul It is well soul with my soul it is well it is well with my soul though Satan should buffet though trials should come let this blessed assurance
it is well with my soul. With my soul, it is well. It is well with my soul. My sin, not in part, but the. sing a kikuyu song that says Tigawari Mwena Wakwa because it is God who fights the battles for us. Tigawari Mwena Wakwa Ke Jo Erena Do Shangora Yakwa Eshingya Ho Tire Tigawanja Rageri Kaje Yeah. 
You never forsake us. May you continue to minister to the entire family, O oh God, even as we continue with the 
service this morning, committing those bringing the eulogy and the tribute to you, that Lord, you may grant them the strength even as a minister to us. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. Pastor Jacob, tafadhali. Mwafika wakati mizuri sasa. Wakweza kupata eulogy. Na tena nindelea kuomba bwana Yesu atie kila mwina huvu. Kani na jamii. Kani seme tena santi kwa kila moja mwina kuja. Kusimama na familia ya Mr. Mgedi. Kwa sababu kwa safari, kwa safari ya safari hii. Ya kweza kukumudisha our daughter. Now, I want to welcome uh, Sister Medwa to come and uh, lead the eulogy uh, this morning. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Oslo Medwa. I'm a cousin from Michelle. I'm going to take you through the eulogy. Lives are like rivers. The rivers, eventually they go where they must not where we want them to. But the late Michelle Kirote Mugendi was born on 7th March 2001 as the first firstborn child to Franklin Mugendi and Esther Mugendi. She was a loving and caring sister to Gift Mugendi and Joe Mugendi, granddaughter to the last late Anne Igueta, Gladys Wangari, and the late Charles Kindia, niece to Pauline Gaki, Caroline Kageni, Eunice Wanjiku, James, James Gakenge, Zibora Wanjiru, Masi Gasheru, George Muturi, Carol Jacob, Benson Mugo, and Sarah Kiki. Grand, granddaughter, niece, and cousin to the Igwetas and the Kindias. Childhood. From the time Michelle was a little girl, she grew to be jovial, outgoing, principled, beautiful, and an affectionate lady who always brought joy and laughter to her family, friends, and the lives of others. Church. Michelle was baptized at St. Mark's ACK Westlands in the year 2003 and later was confirmed at All Saints Cathedral in 2016. In 2022, the whole family joined Ridgeways Baptist Church where they currently worship to date. Education. Michelle started her early education at Honey Tree Monastery and later Green, Green Hill School in Kampala, Uganda. Upon return to Kenya, Michelle joined Sita Moodley, Peace Junior Academy, and later moved to St. Peter's School, Juja, where she completed her primary education. Thereafter, she attended Msongari Girls High School, National Nai Nairobi International School, and later Naisula School, where she completed her secondary education in 2018. Michelle enrolled at Desta University to pursue her, her diploma in counseling psychology and graduated in 2022. Michelle was a natural carer towards, towards this end. She enrolled and successful, successfully completed a course in nursing assistant at Avenue Hospital in 2022. Demise. On 8th February 2023, Michelle woke up well and continued with her daily routine as usual. She later accompanied her friends to go pick a friend's brother from Ridgeways Baptist Church. Just before they got there, they were involved in a road accident where she met her aunt, her death. The Lord gave Michelle to us and the Lord has taken her away. May the name of the Lord be praised. Internal rest grant to Michelle, O Lord. Let perpetual light shine upon her. Aro nogoka enogoka Kenya na Kenya. Namu rikwena uero bote diraga Asia. Mwathani nenkera Michelle enogoka rea Kenya na Kenya. Namu rikwena uero bote diraga nano goke na wega Asia. Thank you so very much. Thank you, my God. Uh, as we are, some of us know, Kwamba Mam Ayuko Nasisi ako abroad na ako na best friend ba yake peda ane the tribute yake so I will uh, take this opportunity now to welcome uh, Sister Grace to come and uh, bring Mam's trip. Yes, come Grace.
Good morning, everyone. My name is Grace Mugambi. Uh, I read Michelle's tribute on behalf of her mom. She's been my friend for so many years, and we stand with her when you have ascension. Michelle, my angel, my precious jewel, perfect gift sent from heaven, and now taken back to heaven. I love, treasure, and miss you. God gave me the best child, the most beautiful, loving, caring, and kind girl in the whole world. I will forever cherish our moments together. Michelle, I shared my dreams with you. I mentioned you to all my heart desires, but you know what, my princess? Those desires are now behind us. And I only have one desire, to go to heaven because I know that is where you are and because I want to see you again. A day shall come and we will be related with you, my only daughter. Rest in power, princess, till we meet again. Amen. Thank you so very much, uh, Grace. Uh, we continue to pray for the Mungu Akatatia, Mr. Mugabe, the family of Ubu Zaidi. Now, I want to welcome Pastor Dan to bring to us uh, Pastor Fred. Thank you. Utaomba tusimame, and then uh, we can go to your Google and get what a friend we have in Jesus. To simame tafadhali, to imbe what a friend we have in Jesus, um, and then we will be able to continue from there. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to Church, Bali Ambapo, Lugu Frank, Pamoja na Jamiake, Esther, and uh, Gift and Johan, and the family Wanabudu, Natunaomba Kwamba, Katika, Jamia Kanisa, Tupate Nguvu, 
and all friends tuweze kupata nguvu. Ningependa kutaja kwamba tumebarikiwa sana by the family sababu Jumapili tulipoingia pale Mushie tulipokelewa vizuri sana na ndugu Frank pamoja and his children and uh, we want to just appreciate that that even though he has been paining and he was paining he received us so well at home with a lot of love and uh, a lot of warmth at home because we had a service at home on Sunday we really must uh, make mention of that na kusema asante sana subsequent to that we had a meeting with Marcy, Pastor Jacob, Doreen, and, uh, and, and uh, Yamenli, na tukaanza kuweza kutafakari how these this, uh, sessions will run. Na tungependa kushukuru sana because we have really, really been supported by Marcy, Pastor Jacob, uh, Doreen, and, the, uh, and everybody, I believe Carol as well. We are very, very grateful. I want to say that in terms of immediate contact, Doreen has been, I think, the main contact in terms of communication, and Doreen has been great. And we want to thank Doreen so much for making our ministry easy and helping to plan. And uh, I just sent her what we would love to do, and she was able to pick it very fast together with her team, Pastor and Mercy and her team. They were able to pick it very well, and so. We really must appreciate as pastors because these things can be very difficult even as you're planning and trying to, to do. So we are very grateful to the family for making the ministry uh, workable for us. And right here we have Pastor Dan who has been very active from day one. We really must thank Pastor. He has a testimony together with Frank. And Frank mentioned that on Sunday uh, when we visited him at home. He gave a testimony of how Pastor Dan visited him, and Pastor Dan has been there from day one as well. And of course, our youth pastor is here, who is a close friend, and we keep working with Gift and Johan, and the family, Pastor Marvin. And we just wanted to say that so that you know that we, we really would love to keep uh, the journey with us, and to keep uh, walking with us even beyond today. We stand here then, uh, just one more minute, then I share a brief word. We stand here then on behalf of the wider Ridgeways Baptist community and Baptist family. And even as I look here, from here, I know there are many from Ridgeways that I could request to arise, but let me just mention the Mutuatas, brother, brother Cyrus, and your dear wife, Carol, if they could just maybe wave or, or stand where they are. Uh, that is a couple from church. Uh, just an, as an example of the fact that we continue to remember and to stand with family. Brother Sarah told me that they come a long way with Frank because their children, these children, have gone to the same schools and then they have become friends. And uh, so apart from just being at Ridgeways, they are also very good friends. And you can see that they have followed uh, Brother Frank even up to this place and, and standing with him. And we know that even beyond now, they will keep standing with Frank and the family. And so we just want to pray that let our ministry continue to endele kwa penda, to endele kwa kumbuka, to endele kwa, kwa karibia, to sikai mbali, to endele just to be close. Uh, because uh, the journey ni kama ndiyo inaanza tafadali. So let us be very, very close to them. Sasa ningependa kwa muda mfupi tutafakari neno la Mungu kutoka wa Filipi 3 Philippians chapter 3 and particularly from verse 4 and those of us who have googled english you can follow lakini kwa sababu ya shosho tutajaribu swahili ili labda shosho wetu naye aweze kupata kiasi kidogo ili kwamba isimpite shosho yote so those those who have english you can google your english version but I will be trying to use Swahili uh, kwa muda mfupi kwa ajili ya shosho wetu. Andiko la mtume Paulo kwa wakristo wa Filipi. Wa Filip, wa, wa Filip. Anapo zungumuza katika andiko hii, mlango wa tatu mustari wa nne, na mpaka labda mustari maine hivi, 
tutakaposoma anasema walakini uh, mimi ni, ningeweza kutumainia kutumainia mwili mtu yeyote akijiona kuwa anayo sababu ya kutumainia mwili mimi zaidi na litairiwa siku ya nne ni mtu wa taifa la Israeli wa kabila ya Benyamini Mwaibrania wa Waibrania kwa habari ya kuish, ku, kuishika Torati ni Farisayo kwa habari ya juhudi kwa habari ya juhudi mwenye kuliudhi kanisa kwa habari ya haki ipatikanayo kwa sheria si kuwa na hatia lakini mambo yale yaliyokuwa faida kwangu na liahesabu kuwa hasara kwa ajili ya Kristo na zaidi ya, ya hayo na yahesabu mambo yote kwa hasara kwa ajili ya uzuri usio na kiasi wa kumjua Kristo Yesu Bwana wangu ambaye kwa ajili yake nimepata hasara ya mambo yote nikiahesabu kuwa kama mavi ili nipate Kristo tena nionekane katika yeye nisiwe na haki yangu mwenyewe ipatikanayo kwa sheria bali ile ipatikanayo kwa imani iliyo katika Kristo haki ile itokayo kwa Mungu kwa imani ili nimjue na na uweza wa kufufuka kwake na ushirika wa mateso yake nikifananishwa niki na kufa kwake ili nipate kwa njia yoyote kuifikia kiama ya wafu Paulo anazungumza akijaribu kutueleza ni jambo gani muhimu katika maisha nafikiri tujiulize ni jambo gani la muhimu katika maisha what is it that is important in life i think as we reflect around a season such as this the tragedy that has befallen us in a season such as this and the events that have been so painful i think it's important to ask ourselves what is it that is important in life ni jambo gani la maana sana katika maisha ni jambo gani la muhimu sana katika maisha i believe that the apostle is telling us the things that are important in life for in the verse he begins by saying that there are things now that he consider he considers as rubbish things that have no meaning uh, to him so he talks about his tribe he says he was born from the tribe of benjamin he says that he was circumcised i believe on the eighth day he talks about his history he talks about his heritage he talks about his life He talks about things that a lot of times we consider to be very important in life. And yes, they are important because some of these things are things that mark our identity. Things ambayo inaonyesha sisi ni wakina nani, kama ni kabila, kama ni tohara, kama ni masomo, kama ni mambo ya kimwili, they are important. But we are asking the question, what is the most important thing in life? Life is so short that it would be important for us to consider only those things that are important in life niliposikiza ujumbe wa michelle dada yetu through mom on i mean uh, uh, on tuesday when i heard you could see the things that were important to michelle that her faith was important to her you could also tell that The word of God was important to her. You could tell. Kwa sababu uliposikiza ujumbe ya Michelle especially as our sister Esther mom aliweza kusema the scriptures maandiko ambayo mama alitaja mama alisema alipewa na Michelle kama andiko ya 60 uh, 61 ambayo tulisoma juzi na pia tumesoma kanisani pale 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 chiromo at the, at the chapel ni andiko ambayo alipewa mama alipewa na Michelle so we can see 
that her faith was important to her, that her love for God was important to her. The question we are asking today, what is it that is the most important thing in life? Sababu, there are, there are important things and there are most important things. And because life is so short, I think it's, it will be important to consider only the most important things in life. Sababu, maisha ni mafupi, sio marefu. Ni mafupi muno. It's very short. I, I tell people that the only life we have is just the breath that you have for now. Ile pumzi ambayo ukonayo kwa sasa, diyo maisha ambayo unaiza kuesabu. Manake, dakika ingine, ujui kutakuwa nini. The next minute, you have no clue what is going to happen. We only have just the breath that we have. But I also tell people that all of us, we have the same the same amount of time here on earth. I love one and you, Lisa, what, how, how, how long, Pastor? And I tell them, just the breath that we have. Just the breath that we have. So it's important then to consider what is it that would be important in life. Paulo anasema hivi kwa mustari wa mustari akasema kwamba naam zaidi ya hayo na yaesabu mambo yote kwa hasara that all things are rubbish all things are useless kwa jili ya uzuri usio na kiasi wa kumjua Kristo Yesu. So number one, the most important thing is to know Christ, the excellence of the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ya kwamba yule amjuae Kristo, amepata yote. Yule ampendai Kristo, amepata yote. Yule ampokai, ampokai Kristo, amepokea yote. So he's saying that he would consider all things rubbish uh, it, to, the, to the extent that the most important thing would be to know Jesus Christ. Kumjua Kristo, Bwana wangu, ambaye kwa ajili yake nimepata hasara ya mambo yote. Nikiahesabu kwa kama mavi ili nipate Kristo. So anasema jambo la kwanza that it would be important for him would be to know Jesus Christ. Kumjua Kristo, kumpenda Kristo, kumpokea Kristo, kuwa na imani na kuhesabu yote kama hasara. Jambo ambayo inashangaza sana ni kwamba a lot of times we find ourselves considering the things of this world as being the most important in life. And the things of this world are not bad. They help us, they facilitate us. Kama ni gari na tusaidia kutembea, kama ni nyumba ni vizuri tunaishi. Lakini ajabu na ni kwa masikitiko ni kwamba saa zingine tumeweza kuconsider the things of this world as being the most important. Paul is saying what will be important, uh, most important is to know Jesus Christ, the excellency of the knowledge of the Lord uh, Jesus Christ. Lakini katika mustari watisa nasema tena nionekane katika yeye, that you will be found in Christ, apatikane katika Kristo, kumjua Kristo na kupatikana katika Kristo, to know Christ and to be found in Christ. He's saying that too would be the second most important thing for him. To know him in verse 10, but in verse, uh, in verse 8, but in verse 10 to be found in the Lord Jesus Christ. The most important, the most, I mean the greatest tragedy in life really is to live without Jesus Christ. Because when we live without Christ, we live without hope. Because it's the Christ who gives us hope beyond this life. Beyond this body, beyond what we are seeing, is Christ who gives us hope. It's Christ who gives us the assurance of life beyond now. Kwa hivi sasa, tunasema katika imani ya kwamba tutaona dada yetu. Tunasema katika imani ya kwamba tutaona shosho wetu in the case of, of shosho ambaye ameketi hapa, ambaye analia na na majonzi. In the case of those of us who are believers, marafiki zake, Dada yetu, uh, Michelle, those who are believers, now they have hope that they will see her again because of their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. So because of that, then we can say that the most important thing in life, therefore, would be to know Jesus Christ, kumjua Kristo, but uh, kum, kum, kumpenda, the excellency of his name, but also to be found in him. Ya kwamba, that day, wakati tutafunga macho, 
na tukifunga macho hapa we will be assured that tutakuwa tumefungua kule binguni for the bible says that to be absent from this body is to be present with the lord jesus christ kwa hivyo wale ambao wameamini wanapoondoka hapa hawaendi ku just kutembea tembea hawapotei like we say sometimes that we have lost so and so it is just a language for the believers they are not lost for the believers they are in the very presence of god so they are not lost we are just using the language to say kwamba when when zetu ametuacha lakini hawajapotea because of what because of their faith in the lord jesus christ and that's why we are saying and the apostle is saying that you consider all things as rubbish all things as mavi it's a very strong language all things as useless for the sake of what the sake of the excellency of the knowledge of the lord jesus but also for the sake of being found in him even at that point in time when the final trumpet sounds when we close our eyes we hope that we'll close our eyes while we are in the lord jesus christ so that when we open our eyes we will open our eyes on the other side of life wiki ile ambayo imepita mimi kama mchungaji na of course i get this situations time and time and time again they are time and time again time beyond number but let me just mention one wiki ile ijayo two weeks ago i think now nilitwa nikiwa kanisani na jamii ambao walikuwa wanapitia katika magumu their mom alikuwa amepitia katika magonjwa ya saratani had gone through through the cancer for for several years now gone through treatment and the, got got well and, but then this thing just kept coming back so around two weeks ago they called me na kaniambia pastor jo hospital Nairobi hospital so tukamaliza ibada baada ya kumaliza ibada basi nika 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 nikakimbia nika kule hospitali nikawapata nilikimbia nikaingia katika ICU pale dada huyu alikuwa amelazwa jina lake ni dr bilha ambaye tumefanya naye huduma kwa muda mwingi tumekuwa naye katika safari ya injili kwa muda mwingi amekuwa rafiki yetu wa karibu sana karibu sana 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 so nikaingia pale ijapo kuwa alikuwa very weak very weak hangeweza kusema wakati aliniona aka move manake akasikia sauti yangu na ka recognize sauti yangu na akajua kwamba rafiki yake mchungaji amekuja kumtembelea kwa sababu yeye ni dada ambaye anajua Kristo na alikuwa anajua Kristo ni tukaanza kuimba na tukaanza kusoma neno nami nikamsomea ufunuo 20 21 pale pale neno lazungumzea juu ya juu ya juu ya Yerusalemu mpya uh, pale ambapo hakutakuwa na kifo hakutakuwa na majonzi hakutakuwa na mateso nikaanza kumsomea na nikaona ana, anajaribu kufanya akisema kwamba pasta ninasikia 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 ni kwa sababu ya imani yake about three days after that or so manaki siku ya Thursday nikaitwa tena nikamwambia pasta mama hako hali mbaya alafu nikaifika pale tukaimba kwa sababu ye alikuwa anaamini Kristo tukaomba tukaimba tukasoma neno mpaka mwishowe dada rafiki yetu wa karibu sana sana nashukuru Mungu kwa nipa nguvu ya kusema hii because it has caused me so much pain of course together with Michelle and our beloved ones that 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 have been taken this season it's been very painful so i stood there until the last breath nilisimama pale mpaka dada akapumzika akafanya pumzi ya mwisho when they declared that it is over when the machine did the last beep nikawa nimesimama pale mpaka dada akafunga macho nikawa pale the questions ambayo zilianza kuingia katika akilini mwangu ni kwamba if she did not believe in christ kama hangekuwa amemwamini kristo maisha ingekuwa bure this is a doctor this is a successful person this is somebody tuliona akiwa na nguvu akiwa na afya akiwa 
anatumikia Mungu kwa ujasiri very 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 jovial uh, very strong very energetic was always on missions anafanya kazi ya Mungu akifanya kazi ya udaktari pia and then time came ambapo sasa alikuwa amedhoofika alikuwa sasa amekuwa mdogo kabisa kwa sababu ya kansa na kansa pia akachukua nywele yake yote akawa sasa uwezi kumtambua lakini kama sio Kristo kama sio Kristo ingekuwa ni bure everything would have been useless kama sio Kristo but because of Christ even as we read the scriptures with her she nodded she said she acknowledged that yes she belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ ndio Paulo anasema kwamba kila kitu ni bure everything is useless everything is rubbish except for 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 number one, to know Christ kumjua Kristo the excellency of his name lakini tena to be found in him but number ya tatu alafu nimalizie pastor Marvin will offer a prayers akasema ili nimjue yeye na uweza wa kufufuka kwake na ushirika wa mateso yake nikifananishwa na kufa kwake so akasema the third thing ya mwisho ili kwamba amjue yeye ajue nguvu wa kufufuka kwake na ushirika wa mateso yake nikifananishwa na kufa kwake that that would be the most important thing to know Christ to the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his of his suffering and even to the extent of his resurrection he said that would be important uh, to him akisema kwamba again ili nipate kwa njia yoyote ku, kuifikia kiyama ya wafu so that in verse 11 he might also be one that will wait for that call the resurrection call when that time come what is the most important thing to you ni kitu gani cha muhimu sana maishani mwako what is it that the most important thing to you everything else i think is important it is important to go to work it's important to have a good career it's important to have a good home it's important to drive the cars it's important to have a beautiful family all these things are important but i'm asking the question what is the most important thing in life because all these things zina peter nilisema jumapili kwamba mimi nimepoteza baba nimepoteza mama nimepoteza ndugu 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 zangu watatu wote nimewazika chini katika kaburi so that if my hope were on this my brothers my parents basi ningekuwa katika hali ya upweke sasa dan huyu amekuja kwetu nyumbani mara mbili manake tulizika mama 2007 baada ya kuzika mama dad, baba akaaga jioni hiyo tukaanza kuzika na nimezika three brothers who are very close to me very, at very personal level kwa hivyo tumaini langu kama ningekuwa katika my brothers one was very senior in this country kama my hope was in in them singeweza kusimama so i'm saying today consider the most important thing for you in life and concentrate on the most important thing for you in life and the most important thing as the apostle paul tells us because everything else he said is rubbish everything else he said is useless the most important things he says would be to know the excellence the knowledge of the, the excellence of the knowledge of the lord jesus christ but secondly to be found in the lord but also to know the power of his resurrection and to know that to, to fellowship with him in his suffering and in his resurrection so christ would be the most important thing that we must consider that we must engage <coughs> if we do so then we have hope beyond beyond this life and we have hope beyond the rubbish of this life using the words of apostle paul and we have hope beyond the mavi of this life because that is what the bible says we have hope beyond the mavi of this life because of the hope that the christ uh, gives uh, to us so may the lord help us dear beloved as we consider and as we journey in this life to consider the most important thing in life may the lord bless us may the lord keep us may we find hope and peace in him tunaenda ku ku
tusema hombi mbili and as so Pastor Jacob was maybe wanting to we are going to sema hombi mbili Pastor Martin Pastor Martin ni mchungaji pamoja na Reverend Jacob ambaye Reverend Jacob ni wajamii so leo lakini Pastor Martin we like for you just to offer a prayer of thanksgiving. A prayer of thanksgiving. Just to give thanks to God. And that is the message that I believe Brother Frank you know, mentioned on, on, on Tuesday. As I, as I recollect when Brother Frank, even on Sunday when we went home, he began by just, and he's a tall man, and he's, he stood tall. <laughs> he's continued standing tall. And, uh, and really speaking very strongly. And we pray that God will give him strength to just keep. And I believe from Sunday, you know, Brother Frank, I, I listened. And he began to say, we just we thank God for the years that God gave us with, with, with Michelle. And, and we just want to give thanks. Uh, giving thanks for, 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 for God's goodness. Giving thanks for God's grace. Giving thanks for the provision of this beautiful God. And, and friends as well, let's give thanks for the times that we shared uh, with Michelle. So we will give thanks. But for, for our youth pastor, I would request our youth pastor, together with the clergy that are here, to pray for, as you give thanks, you'll also pray for, for Frank, uh, Pastor Martin. You'll also pray for Frank as you give thanks. But I would request our youth pastor to particularly pray for these young people and lay hands upon them together with the clergy that are here. This is not an easy thing. When you see these young people here, you really cannot comprehend what is going on. When you see a gift there, you really cannot tell. And of course, your, your, your hand there, you really cannot tell. And, and a youth pastor will be requesting him to, to kindly uh, just offer a prayer upon them. And together with the clergy, we will do so and, and we'll, we'll, we'll lay hands and, and do so. Pastor Dan has been our song leader together with many things, MC, song leader. Uh, Pastor Dan, just to prepare our hearts for that prayer time, uh, I trust that there could be a line in your heart that we could just, uh, you know, just sing briefly as we just spend this moment in prayer. We just want to call on God yet again on behalf and for our friends. And the wider family, of course, Joshua is here. Uh, we remember them as well. So, Pastor D, and then we begin with the Thanksgiving Kwanzaa. Because we must give thanks. Brought to us by Pastor Martin. And then, after that, Pastor Marvin, are you pastor? As we commit the young ones to God, our pastor. Oh, when they say Go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, Lord, I want to be among the number, oh, when the saints go marching in. <laughs> Kaingera, Reya de Ruma, Kaingera, Gainenguenda, Gakorwo, Reya de Ruma, Kaingera, Namakirwo. Oh, when the saints go marching, 
marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, Lord, I want to be among the number. Oh, when the saints go marching in. God is good at all the times. Shall we pray? Our Lord and our Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning. We thank you for the family of Franklin. We thank you for Michelle and the life that she led in the name of Jesus. We praise you and we worship your holy name because we know, Father, you have been with them. You brought up their child. You are the giver of life. And now, Lord Jesus, you have chosen to take it away and to rest it in the name of Jesus. We thank you. Because, Lord Jesus, since we began this uh, process to lay down uh, the daughter to Franklin and Esther, we have seen your power, we have seen your grace, we have seen your love and mercy upon this family, O oh Lord. How we pray that Jehovah God, that you will continue to be with them, comfort them, give them peace of mind, peace at heart, in the name of Jesus. Mungu tunakushukuru hata kwa wale mungu wa mejitoa sababu ya hii Tumeona wengi wakikutana katika lile boma, wakitoa rabirami zao, wakitoa michango, wakitoa hata na saha, tunakushukuru Bwana. Hata tunashukuru sababu ya kanisa la kwa Mungu, Rejuvis Baptist, na kanisa zote ambazo wa Mungu zimeshiriki mahali hapa kwa sababu ya kusuri kuona um, mtoto wao, Michel, ameweza kuwekwa mahali pazuri na kwa nia ambayo ni safi. Ni asante Mungu sababu tunakupenda na hata tunaku uh, budu tukumala tena tukisema kwamba umekua pamoja na wale ambao wame travel wengi wao umetoka mbali kule meru wengine ulaya wengine hata mungu wa Mombasa na hata hata Nairobi lakini mungu umewalinda ukawapatia afya ukawapatia hata uzuri wakutulia katika mahali hapa wakati kama huu tunashukuru tukijua kwamba tunapo karibia hata tamati ya kikao cha leo na uh, katika hii ibada Mungu utakuwa pamoja nasi. We thank you for everything that you have done for this family. We thank you for every child in this family of Franklin. And we also thank you for every blood relative in, the, in this place. We know that Jehovah God, you shall cover them with your precious blood. And mighty Father, your love and mercy shall continue to be with them. We want to thank you once again and say thank you because you are our God, our Redeemer, and the Lord that lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray and believe. Amen. Thank you. Um, and we get into a time of prayer last all the young people that are here if you're here and you're you know between that age 19 20 21 22 23 college age of our dear beloved michelle you can just be on your feet if you don't mind but we want to pray together with you and i'll ask that so that we can have the pastoral team um just look at us from wherever we are I know this is a tough one for all of us. I know it's hard. The youth pastor, the past four months, have lost like maybe five young people. It bothers me as well. But I need to encourage you. As we were coming in the car, one of the young person that I was with, she just broke down and asked me, Pastor Mabo, is, 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 is this real? Is this thing we are trusting in real? Is this real? And I need to, as a way of assurance, let you know Young people, it is real. It is real. Jesus Christ is a historical figure. He lived, he died, and the historical evidence that he rose again. It is real. Is it fair? We live in a broken world. Many things are not fair. But it is real. And I want you, as we pray, to get that. It is not just for here and now. It is real. Pain will come. Loss has visited us at a very young age. But I need you to know, at your age, this hope that this girl had is real. Unshaken. Proven. Tested. 
tried true. It is real. A body rests there right now, right? And questions upon questions in your heart. But then, you know the last thing that this girl did as far as the church was concerned? She went to Nevada for a fellowship. We did a fellowship in Nevada. And she was there. And she was there. And one of the girls that I'm with was a group leader in the conversations they had. And it was legit. So as I pray with you, I want you to lift your eyes beyond everything that is going on here. And look at Christ. It is real. I mean, I have pain. This is one of my young people, right? I, 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 have, I have had my own battles in the night, day morning as I was driving here. And my only confidence is that, you know, the Lord that Michelle knew, we know. And so be encouraged. This is not a passing wind. No, this is real. That Christ is there. And even here now today, He can really minister to your heart. And aren't you as they pray, just pray as well. Probably, it's been a while probably since you prayed, just mention a word of prayer. Tell this God, you know what? This is painful, this is difficult. But if you are real then, minister to my heart. Reach out to Him. Because my prayer is that your heart will find the confidence. So don't throw it all away. Don't think, you know what? This God is Hey, why can he allow, why, why would he allow something like this? <laughs> well, run to him and he will encourage your souls. This is what the Bible says. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? It's rhetoric. Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? And in verse 36 of Romans 8, the argument of the writer is, for your sake we are being killed all day long. We are regarded as sheep to be slaughtered. But that is not the case. We are not just like sheep to be slaughtered. And so the Bible says, no. We are not just sheep to be slaughtered. In all these things, we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. It says, for I am sure that neither death nor life, no angels, no rulers, no things present, no things to come, no powers, no height or depth, no, anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Jesus Christ our Lord. All the strain and the stress that is in your head and heart now, join me as we call upon this God, because He's there and He will listen to you. And once we rest our friends, I want to call upon you young people. Once we exit this place, and I pray that your heart will be found where the pastor has said, knowing the Lord. That is the only confidence. Everything else will flow. Everything else will make you angry and mad. But in Christ you will find the peace that you need. So lift up a prayer in whatever way that you know how. And all the pastors who are here, and all the parents who are here. I mean, it's difficult. It is hard for us young people to comprehend some of these things sometimes. Especially when we see you are there, you are 50, you are 60. And you're talking about it. It is hard. It's a lot of a lot of engagement in your mind. And so I want you to pray for these young guys who are standing up. Just go ahead right now. Lift a prayer for them. Pray that the Lord will cause them to understand to act to, to some extent this situation here now today. And that they will not throw in the towel. So just go ahead and pray with them for the next minute before I pray. Just if you're there, if you're close to one, you can just stand behind them. If you're if you're near some of them, just stand behind them. You can put a hand on someone on somebody there. Just do that. If you are near one of these young people and you are a parent and you are older and you are not standing, just reach out to them and pray for them. In the next probably minute, just say a word of prayer to them. The psalmist say that when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than myself. And Lord, as young people, this is, this is not even a rock in a hard place. This is a metallic heart. It's difficult to think through. It's difficult to comprehend. Yet I'm praying for all these ones on their feet. At this age, oh God, that they find themselves in. In this moment, Lord where their minds and their hearts need to grapple with difficult realities. 
speak with words that are so clear in each and every one of their hearts, Lord. Speak to them the reassurance that, Father, anyone who is in you is not lost. Speak to them the reassurance that, Lord, no, this is not the end of it, that if their lives are hidden in you, then, God, you can hold them through this time is this time. Speak to them that even now, no matter what life has thrown along their way, that there is a way that God, your arms are strong to hold them and to guide and to redirect. Speak, speak comfort, Lord. Speak peace in their hearts. Speak rest for their souls. You've promised, come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, I'll give you rest. Give these young people rest, Lord. As they consider the brief life of their friend, classmate, relative, oh Lord, I pray then that they will look at the Jesus pointers in Michelle's life. And those will be the things that they will grant to Lord. I pray that you will continue to encourage and reaffirm them. And let them know that, Father, there is a hope that we have come to know. A hope that goes beyond the grave. A hope that goes beyond the tears. A hope that goes beyond the pain. A hope that goes beyond the dust. A hope that goes beyond the world. A hope that dashes straight into your presence. Where when we come, you remind us that you are okay. And so, Lord, I pray that you speak these words. That they are fine if they find themselves hidden in you. They will be fine if they run to you. You will hold them. Your word reminds us that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And the righteous run into it. They are safe. I pray that these young ones, Lord, these gentlemen, these ladies, they will run there and they will be safe. All these questions that the enemy might throw their way and tell them, oh, God is not real. How could he allow something like that to happen? Don't even consider him. God, I pray that you will remind these young people that you have ordained out, out of sin, Lord. Then we need to pass through this door called death. Then we can be joined together with you. This is not the end. And so remind this young generation, Lord. And because, Lord, we do not know how long you're going to give the rest of us, then we trust that here now today, we will be able to reach out with hope and grace and say, Lord, I need that help that you've offered. Come and give it to me. And so, Lord, we pray for mental rest. That, God, none of these ones, Lord, will, will just go into oblivious behaviors, Lord, unknown things. But that, God, mentally they will come and interact with you and realize that there is a rock that is stronger than any other prop that life can give. And so, God, I pray that none of these ones, Lord, would be lost in unnecessary thoughts. That those deceitful thoughts that would fly their way, Lord, would they find you, Lord, creating a buffer around them. The buffer of faith the buffer of the hope that we have in Christ, and that they will be shielded from such kind of destruction. And so we thank you, Jesus Christ, today. And we commit this youthful generation. For I pray that as we finish this service for today, that as the memories continue to linger in our hearts and minds, that as young as we are, we will desire much more to see many days in you, Lord, so then we can speak the same hope to many. And that God, when you come, because you must come. I pray that in their time, in their day, in their generation, these ones who are here in this time of pain, they will see the light of hope that is in the sky. Encourage each and every one of them, O oh Lord, with words only you could speak. Teach their hearts to trust. Remind their souls to wait upon you. That is our prayer, Lord. And you've said it in all these things. They can't be more than conquerors if they are in you, Lord. And they are more than conquerors. So hold them fast. Hold them fast to the very end. We bless you for this gift of life that you've given to us today. We bless you for the life of Mitch, Lord. We thank you that we had it and we thank you that you've called her home. Now I pray that these young lives that are standing here today, they will also walk this path, Lord, that they will have you, and when time comes, when you call them home, that they will be able to say, I am coming home, Lord, because that is where I belong. Thank you for all that you've done, and thank you for the ministry of your spirit moving forward. We pray in Jesus' mighty name. We encourage young people, this is not the end of it. There is still more. Amen.
I'll request us to go to our phones. There's a song that says, Hide Me Now. We'll sing that song and then uh, Pastor Jacob will bring to us any announcements or vote of thanks and then we will proceed to where we shall lay the remains of Michelle to rest. Hide me now under your wings cover me within your mighty hand when the oceans rise and the does roar I will soar with you above the storm Father you were king over the flood I will be still know you are God I will be still know you are God Find rest, my soul, in Christ alone. Know His power, in quietness and trust. When the oceans rise and thunders roll, I will soar with you above the storm. Father, you are king over the flood. I will be still, know you are God. I will be still, know you are God. When the oceans rise and the thunders roar, I will soar with you above the storm. Father, you are king over the flood. I will be still, know you are God. 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 Amen. Thank you so very much, Pastor Fred, Pastor Dan. The entire leadership of uh, the Ridgeways Church, we thank God for you. You've been there for this family. One is us, if you Take to before I call our brother Henry Mutea to come and do a vote of thanks, and also to do announcements. I want to repeat the ones uh, our pastor has insisted to us this morning. What is the important thing? In your life, what is the important thing in your life? I want to say, just as our pastor said, that the important thing in our lives is to know Christ and to be found on Him when this day comes. This day that will be fall that will come to each and every one of us. Praise God. So, just because as a witness. As a witness that a pastor friend has preached this gospel, I just want to give us time and give us an, an opportunity. If you are here, you want to know Christ and prepare yourself to be found in a heal. Kama wakati huu ukifika, wachani yongea kwa kiswahili, ili wakati huu ukifika mba utapatikana na utapatwa na kila mmoja wetu ili kwe ushuhuda kwamba first pastor fred alihubiri tunataka tupeane nafasi tu uko hapa 
ungependa kupeana maisha yako kwa Kristo ili kujiandaa kwa sababu ya siku hiyo itakuja kwa kila mmoja ni alikuwa mwanadamu kuzaliwa baada ya kuzaliwa aishi baada ya kuishi kuna siku hii ambayo imepata mtoto wetu itafika baada ya hiyo sasa kuna kitu inaitwa hukumu na hukumu itakapokuja vile uamuzi uliamua leo ndiye itakusaidia siku hiyo ambayo utakaa bele ya kiti cha hukumu praise the lord haleluya oh nimekuwa mzito sana kwenu wanaweza siwe sana yes this is where pastor fred was leading you when he asked you what is the most important thing in your life is it money that you can do all sort of evil to get it is it love that you can do all sort of evil to get it to get it is it wealth what is the most important thing in your life a pastor friend told us the most important thing in life is to know Christ and to and to be found in him in such a day that will come to every one of us are you there you want to give your life to Christ are you there this is a witness that we preached and we allowed you to make a decision there will be this is we will be a witness when that day comes when we start before the seat of judgment it will be a witness that pastor fred and pastor jacob give you an opportunity to give your life to christ are you there thank you kama wewe ni kama zakayo unajua kuna wale kina zakayo wanataka kukuja faragani pastor wakati ukitoka hapa unaweza fuata uh, one of our pastors hata kama ni katika gari yake ama mahali popote pale na tutakuongoza katika ombi na kumpokea Kristo ili ukamjue Kristo na kisha ukapatikane ndani yake siku hii ikifika utakuwa umehesabu kila kitu kingine yote ni bure katika jina la Yesu thank you so very much thank you very much i just want to welcome our brother Henry Mutea to come and give do vote of thanks and also to bring our announcements shalom in our pena asante family relatives friends good morning mine is very short on behalf of the family we feel all we love humble because of what you people as have done from the day we got uh, this uh, faithful announcement people of all walks of life have stood with the family every other day look that uh, we have not received you and several other friends because for the love you are for the family today the grange team has really really come in for michel and we believe your prayers have gone directly and uh, whatever she is of course that is a destination for all of us we believe one day we are going to of course join up because the journey is the same there are several members especially friends of uh, our dear brother mr mugendi who have been very 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 supportive that is coming here every evening praying with the family 
and uh, I will take time at least to recognize these groups because they have been very, very instrumental. And wherever you are, feel very, very appreciated because your effort has made this day to be a success because by all standards, we have given her what she deserves. I will take this opportunity. This team, if you are here, if I call you and uh, you are here, it's good also to wave so that at least we know you are also represented here. Are we together? Uh, there is a team of members of the uh, beyond uh, the base. Is there any representative here? Mungu Akuvariki. We feel you, we thank you. I think we came all of you in large numbers. We have a, a very strong team here. I think uh, I've met most of uh, the friends who came at home. I was sitting there also every other day with my good neighbor. The team of uh, golfers now from Kiambu, please to Evie Mari Muko. Now, na nyote pia mekuja, tafadari mugu avariki. Tuko na nyenye. There is another team called Mountain Classic. Muko wapi? Tuwa salimie, tu salimie ni kwa hewa. Mountain Classic, we feel you and we thank you. I can see some members even are common, are closing over from one group to the another. It's a community. We appreciate. There is a team which came from IPA, Kenya. Where are you? Feel appreciated. Mungu wa wabariki. There is a club called D60 Welfare. D60 Welfare. Na kuwoda huko? Yes. Ambia wengine. Rambi rambi zenu. Your participation is highly appreciated. We have another team where I also belong as a friend also. I'm a member of the Golden Palm community. I happen to be even the chairman of the association team from Golden Palm. Please, where you are, I can see you all. Thank you very much and feel appreciated as well. That was very good. Neighborhood and keep it up. Let's continue supporting each other. We, you know, this wouldn't have happened without the family. And it's also good for the family to wave. At least we appreciate you. The family, family members, Mugendi is family member, whatever you are, just wave to the cloud. That is very great. I know this is not the end. Because it it's a journey. Like I said, we are going to walk this journey. If you ask many, they always say, what you don't know is the day. But at least we have an idea of the day. Because for the longest I've lived, I've seen people go between Sunday and Ma. At least you have an idea of the seven days. Any of the day you can go. So don't say you don't know. Let's keep everybody in prayers. Of course, the Mugendi family needs you more moving forward, especially the young boys. They need people to encourage them. They need people to make them understand that each and every person wakona maisha yao. Benye tumesikia, kwa mungu, all matters is not quantity, is the quality of life you are going to lead at the end of, at the, end of the day. So we will stand with the family today and moving forward. Niki Malizia, Unajua, we are doing it here, but I still will have some uh, refreshment because still we don't want to leave the family. It will be too soon. We will not just leave them to go them alone. We will, for whoever has time, we will accompany them at home. We will serve some refreshment. At least so that they feel invited, join us. It is important because we all know 
how it feels to be alone after even this. Why are you on behalf of the family. Turukua na kamechi, kamechi which was also sitting every day in the evening, but uh, you are all part of the, the committee. But at least I will appreciate, sorry, the, the chair, the, I was the chairman, and uh, I have a secretary, wave your hand please, feel appreciated. Um, I have a treasurer, Mr. John Kamau, where are you? Ah, feel appreciated. Baraka zote za mungu pasta ametuombea. Iyo kazi yote umetenda at whichever level, feel appreciated. We are with you and will be with you. Thank you and may God bless you all. Begin my coffee, Mazuri. Thank you. Thank you so much. Of course, I again once want to appreciate Doreen and our treasurer. We have always worked behind the scenes. Na kuweza kukamilisha mahali tumefika. So now, bila kuchukua muda mwingi, mara nyingine tena wacha ni ongeze. Mr. Frank, ameni niambia tena, please, I ask you. Kimarisa hapa, nilizuri tuwa matere nae. Nibani, I'm going to take a lunch for every one of us. Thank you so very much. Uh, thank you everyone, thank you church. Just want to welcome uh, our pastor Dan to come and tell us what next. Thank you, Shalom. Thank you very much, Pastor Jacob. On behalf of Regis Baptist Church, na washukuru nyinyi wote kwa kuja kwa hii ibada na kuweza kutulia vizuri hivyo mpaka mahali ambapo tumefika. Sasa tutaomba tusimame wale ambao ni Paul Bearers watatusaidia ili tuweze kubeba jeneza tukielekea mahali ambapo tunapumzisha i am sure it is not a big place for everyone so those who are here will allow the family wasonge mbele kidogo wae mahali ambapo tunaweza ona vizuri wengine we can just stand behind us will not take longer than an hour or 40 minutes or so pastor asante sana mchungaji amesema kwamba paul bearers wa karibie and uh, we just want to again thank God for keeping us well. So wakati huu tutaandamana ni kwamba ndugu Frank pamoja na uh, Johan and Gift watakuwa hapo mbele wakishika msalaba and immediately behind them tutakuwa Paul Bearers and all the family members will follow and uh, that is how we are going to go. So we just want to request that we have to move. Uh, if we request that the gift of Johan just to come here. And we uh, are going to go Show me at the All Yami, all family members were quoted. Uh, na wana kwamba kuna kibuli kibuli kwa hivyo friends who can come by, it's okay, so that when they talk to come on. Asante, first of all. Chakutu maini sina ila damu ya ke Yesu sina we mawa kutosha Dambi zambuku ziosha Kwa ke Yesu na simama Diye mwamba ni salama Diye mwamba ni salama Diye mwamba ni salama Jia yangu iwendefu Ye ye hulipa Oh, 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 oh,
Bibiga, Bubu Sakendi Sonanga, Wake Yesu na Simama, Die Mwambani Salama, Die Mwambani Salama, Die Mwambani Salama,
that the Lord all of all my dual light to witness. Bless this site, which is the place where the tent is being laid. We are anointed now. Bless this site now, and we declare that you hold now. Thank you, and we bless you. In Jesus' name we will pray. Amen. Asante. Also, there was no more sea. And I heard a loud voice from heaven 
saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them. And I shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God. And God will wipe every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Amen. Then he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. He said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give of the fountain of the water of life freely to him who thirsts. We thank you, God, for the promise of your word, of the new heaven, the new Jerusalem, place of no more sorrows, place of no more pain, place of no more crying, a place of no more death. That is our hope beyond this grave. And we know that our sister and our daughter and our friend and our show, to show show grandchild has already taken her place. She is safely well in the arms of the Almighty God. Place of no more sorrow or pain, our hope in the Lord Jesus. As we now return dust to dust, give us the grace and the strength to do so. Remembering that this place is not our destiny, our destiny is in glory, it is the new city, the new heaven, the new Jerusalem. That is our hope and that is our destiny. So give us strength to, to do this now. That God, it may honor you even as we do so. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Atungateri and elders. Then after that will be Frank and. As we now return dust to dust, in the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ningaomba kwamba Frank na give the Johan Shosho Pepe Teri, then Pastor Dan at the end of the day Pastor Shika Pamoja. The dad and the brother, please pass. Pastor Shika. Pastor Shika.
Then he'll stand there so that we can do it together. So let's also do this in the mighty name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, brothers and sisters of Esther, come on up. Okay.
I saw, I saw some, some friends, friends of the mom who are here. You can come. You can, can also, also come. come. Thank, Thank you. you. Representative Wagoff, na hizo group zingine, ni list honor chairman, na timi yake, please come. Kuna mutu yote ambaye ya mebaki? Yes. Na hizo grabu mchanga hako, kama huko pande hii, please. Wale wako pande hii. Let's do what we need to do.
Oi, oi. Yeah, 
that we are weak at this point in time, but we also confess victory and power because the scriptures have told us that where whole death is your victory, where whole death is your sting, for death has been overcome on the cross, that you have no power over the children of God, for we have overcome because of the Son of God who is risen. We confess that we feel the pain, but we also confess power, for the Bible tells us that the power that is at work in us is the same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. So as we stand here today, we stand to confess power and victory. We stand to confess the peace of God. Lay my hands upon this dear auntie, our sister Mercy. She is overwhelmed by pain and many other aunties and family as a whole. We now confess the peace of God. We confess the power of God upon her in Jesus' name and many. We refuse any spirit of hopelessness. We, re we refuse any spirit of depression. We refuse any spirit of despair. We refuse any spirit of suicide. We refuse any spirit that says there is no hope. We refuse and we rebuke you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We lay hands upon our sister and the family that is paining to now speak the calmness that can come only come from the Spirit of God and the peace that only come from the Spirit of God. Spirit of God, take over now. Spirit of God, take full control. We rebuke Satan and his schemes. We rebuke the devil and his schemes. We rebuke him and his works. And we declare that the family shall be well and they shall look Jesus. up to thee, yes. they will be strong, yes. and they will walk, move on, yes. because they know whom they believe in, yes. and they know that it is well with them. Oh, yes. So therefore we bless the family, the we bless our sister Mercy, yes. we bless the entire family, yes, we bless our sister Esther who is not oh, yes. here with us. Oh, yes. God, we bless the parents, we bless yes. Frank and and, 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 and Gift and yes, Johan yes, and Shosho, yes. the, the nieces, the nephews, oh, yes, Lord, the aunties, yes, everybody. Yes, yes, we bless them in Jesus' name. Jesus. We refuse you, Satan. Yes, yes. You will not come here to take any control whatsoever. You will have no place in this yes, family. This family will know the peace of God. Yes. This family will know the joy of the Lord. Yes, Lord. This family will celebrate yet again. Yes. This family will have a new song yet again. We refuse you, Satan. We rebuke you in Jesus' name. You have no place. You have no power. Because you are defeated 2,000 years ago. Therefore, the family will arise, will be strong, and will stand. We ask that you surround the young man gift. I have observed the way he is devastated. Therefore, we ask that you stand with gift in Jesus' name. Lord, give him peace in his mental, in his mind. Give him peace in his heart. The Father Frank and Johan and everybody. Father God, we declare your peace, your power, your presence, your protection, your provision, your goodness, your spirit reigns. 
You reign in this home. You reign in this home. And Satan has no place because he's defeated. The blessings of God Almighty and the peace of God now take full control over your life from the very top of your head to the very sole of your feet and to the top of the head of every family member and the sole of their feet. Now the Spirit of God take full control and full charge. God is with you. You are well in Him. There is peace in Him. You will overcome because Jesus has overcome. We bless you now and commend you to Him. And friends who came to stand with the family, God bless you. God keep you. God reward you. For you have done them well and you have done us well. May the Lord keep you, dear ones. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May the goodness of the Lord be your portion in the land of the living. May the Lord indeed lift you from glory to glory. The Lord keep you well. The Lord watch over you. The Lord surround you as the mountains surround Jerusalem. The Lord be with you. Do not be afraid. For he is with you and is your God. Bless you now. The name of God the Father. Of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. God keep you. His grace be with you. This love be with you. This fellowship keep you. That is the prayer that the Apostle Paul prayed for the church. That the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and even forevermore. Amen. God bless you. God keep you. Please remember the request of our brother Frank that please you pass by home so that you can share a meal with him. If he goes home and he finds it is empty and there's nobody, I'm, I, I believe he will be even more sad. So let's remember the question. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. Thank you so much until we meet again in Jesus' name. Amen.